Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Replay. Today we're taking a look at a long forgotten classic from the PlayStation 1 era for Sony. It is Medieval. Today, I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. I'm joined by Tim Turry. Yo. And Ben Reeves. Hello. A smaller crew than normal, but uh, everybody else is tied up with stuff, and uh, we have no idea where Dan Reichert is. He was here with his dad. Disappeared. Disappeared. No idea what's going on. I don't think anybody's tried to call him. I don't think anybody really cares. I think but, everybody's uh, scared. We're just going to go with the three-man crew here, and we also have our producer, Jason, here. So Tim Turry's going to be on the sticks here. I was bummed. I didn't get to review this game back in the day. I was on a on a cover story trip, and I did not uh, did not get to see it. Let's uh, see if it has uh, analog control. Uh, who scooped this review from you? John Storm, Paul Anderson, Rest His Soul, and Andy McNamara. The okay. Human Torch, huh? Ooh, look at these. Oh, yeah, we used to have the Human Torch working for us. That's crazy. This who, is early. Who, oddly enough, his best friend growing up was the drummer from Weezer. Really? So we had the, the band Weezer in our office quite often. Huh. Whenever Weird. they came through on tour. Back before they were famous? or Nope. They were huge. They and they would just come huh. through and play games and oh, weird. disrupt our work day. So I never touched this one. Uh, I liked the 3D platformers a lot, but I was not playing them on PlayStation, that's for sure. I was pretty excited for this game when it first came out. It reminded me of Ghouls and Goblins, which is cool, or Ghosts and Goblins, mm -hmm. depending on which platform you played it on. Oh, kind of like a pre-Maximo situation for you? Yeah, since I was also really excited for Maximo when that came out. But actually, my brother kind of killed my enthusiasm because yeah, I brought this game home, and then every time I would come home from school or work, he'd be playing it, and so he'd be way ahead of me, and I'd see stuff that I hadn't done yet, and so you know how Wait, that is. Wait, you your... bought the game? Yeah. And he was playing your game and wouldn't stop when you came home? That's how it was. That's how Oof. he rolled. He's still like that, isn't he? Yeah, he's still like that. <laughs> so he was your younger brother? Is your younger brother? Is is still younger than me, yeah. So he <laughs> was be he was the one that was beating you up then? No, no, I was definitely beating him up. Why don't you just take your game back? Play your game. S slap him on the ear a couple times. Uh, that was nice. That's good to hear, Ben. He's a nice guy. A little too nice, Ben. Are we supposed to have 3D glasses for this texture? I think um, <laughs> that's a texture, huh? So, what's my what's my task here? You've come back to life, right? Sir Dan, oh, right? Yes. So I gather this is a good name for a hero. Sir so Dan. Dan Durr. Oh, this is not as good as I remember it looking. <laughs> it's got a little bit of Tim Burton-esque yeah, art yeah, style yeah, to it. Does. What year was this? This was 1998, October 1st. I'm really curious to see what um, our viewership thinks about this series, if it has... A fond place in anyone's heart. I feel like uh, Crash Bandicoot and like Spyro would be the go-to, you know, favorites for 3D platformers at the time. I think this is more of like an action game. Yeah? Yeah, I remember I picked this game up on day one and absolutely loved it and thought the humor was fantastic. But yeah, it's more of like a hack and slash. Or they made two of these games? Yes, and, a, and I then, believe the second one, I didn't get to play the second one, was a lot worse. Then it just disappeared from the face of the earth. Throwing daggers? Okay, so it's got like a Castlevania thing going on. Yeah, so it's not bad. Secondary weapon, maybe... Okay. Totally Castlevania. Oh, I just switched out weapons. So yeah, I see your ghouls and ghosts uh, reference there. A ruin. Sure. Why not? Oh, is that bad? Let's jump over it. <laughs> it's the You're first enemy sure. a rat? Hack. Yeah, all right. Hacking. Copper shield. That's that's pretty good, good, right? That looks like money right there. So that's oh, you block with the with triangle, great. Oh, and cash. That's great. You ever wonder how video game characters like carry all this like thousands of pieces of gold that they have? Uh, now I do. Never thought of it before, huh? Yeah, I usually the biggest the biggest offender of that I always was a uh, uh, solid snake for me. Cause oh, because he, he had, had tons of so stuff, much yeah. stuff. Every weapon. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, developers have gotten a lot better about that, like showing cosmetic, you know, where the weapons go and stuff like that. Yeah. Still a lot of, you just put the shield on your back and it magically yeah. sticks to your back. Still in Skyrim, you just have like way more stuff than you should. Yeah, you should have to have like a 
a wagon or something with you <laughs> if you wanted to carry that much. I you have a wagon like, called Lydia. Yeah, exactly. I put some stuff on my horse, and then my horse died. Lydia disappeared in my world. She died. Last time I saw her, she was floating halfway through the terrain, just kind of just magically floating across the, the world. That's her ghost. Oh, is that good or bad? It's Thing. What the? It's Thing's family. Look at all of them. I like I like Halloweeny stuff. I wonder if I would have liked this back in the day. I bet you would have. I don't know what these guys are doing. Is it too late now? Uh, it's not too late to like it. No, I mean, I haven't. Oh, that's very yeah, cool. Get that guy. Oh boy. Oh wow, that's a quick. Zombie. The Hulk. I thought he was the only one with purple pants. Yeah, he's got a <laughs> whole. And totally he's green. Is he? Oh, is this like a crimson head from Resident Evil? Do I have to light him on fire? Otherwise, he'll come back later. Here, I gotta get some kerosene. I like when bodies stick around. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Uh, what game was... Oh, it was uh, Deadly Creatures. Where oh, yeah, they disappear. We were playing the other day. Uh, On Wii. Also a fun game. Billy Bob Thornton. Have we done that as a replay? Well, it's... I it's, guess that's Wii. Soon. We, I mean... Yeah, when the Wii, Wii U comes out, you know, yeah. We can get Deadly Creatures. We should make... Deadly Creatures should be first on our list. That'll be a game. great, a great replay, I think. Yeah, if you haven't played that. Billy Bob Thornton, and who's the other guy who's in that? Dennis Hopper? Dennis Hopper. Yeah, was it one of the last things he did? It was Maybe. like that year, wasn't it? Did yeah, that it might be, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, does Dennis Hopper have any roles in this game? I don't think so. Okay. Unless he's Sir Dan. Sir Dan, is there a joke there at all? Like, I know, like, Dead Ed. He, he kind of reminds me of Iron Maiden's mascot a little bit. I don't think so. I think he just has a cool name. You love those throwing knives. So, Reiner, what were your memories of this game? I mean, having been at the magazine at the time it came out and all that. It had some pretty cool secrets, stuff like that. I remember enjoying exploring the world, looking for everything, all the collectibles and stuff like that. The, can't, the combat isn't super precise. No. Um, you're, you're out now. You used them all. So what does that mean for me? You should use your sword. Oh, you use your... You have to switch to your own limbs. <laughs> it kind Is of that boomerangs. a boomerang limb? What did happen to your sword? Um, it got, I think it got exchanged for the throwing knives. Oh, I'll take that, you idiots. <laughs> the zombies, I feel like they wouldn't want anything to do with another reanimated corpse. There's nothing to eat there. Well, it looks like you got, a, like, a, a ham hawk attached to the end of your looks fist like, there. Looks like a little bit of meat on there, yeah. It's like a chicken wing bone. Like an old one. Like, jerky at this point. I'm not in love with this camera. I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. Uh... It's it's the old R2 L2 uh, is uh, controlling yeah, yeah. this, despite the fact that I have this beautifully perfect uh, right analog stick just begging to be used as a camera. PS1. PS1. You can't switch that. No, no. I, I thankfully have uh, analog control for Chaos. Dan himself, but yeah, no no dice with the camera. Where, where am I putting this now? I got another ruin up here. That looks pretty good. Excuse me, thing. Bam. I like having a boomerang arm. Now, if you could do this in real life, what situations would having a boomerang arm be really helpful? Uh, maybe in the casino. Casino. What? Yeah. What like, would you? How would you take advantage of that? Uh, just to grab the ball out of the roulette thing. No, oh, if it's gonna land it, on red, yeah, and you, yeah. you bet no. on black. Uh, you probably get in trouble for that. I don't know. Would it be somewhere in writing that they couldn't uh, technically, since it's not technically a person and it's detached from you at that point, that it's a fair fair play? I think people would be so disturbed by the fact that you ripped your arm off and threw it that maybe they wouldn't notice you also grabbed the ball. So you immediately go to a money making scheme uh, with your That's what I was going arm. for. Okay. See, Are you going to save the world with your arm, broken I, arm? I don't know. I want to hear your guys' answers. First. I would I would use it for hot dog carts. So I'd be standing <laughs> across the street and I'd throw the boomerang and get a hot oh. dog. Oh, I thought oh. you said you were going to work a hot dog. That'd be cart. pretty good, too. You could like, Yeah, you could deliver fend off the people, hot yeah. dogs. Or just, like, at stadiums, you know, when the dude's coming down. Oh, and, yeah. Like, the beard do dudes. Like, the, that would be the perfect. Beer, and then the arm would come back. Oh, that's... Yeah, you don't have to hand the hot dog down, you know, 10, 15 people to get it to the right person. Why don't they do that? That's way better. You should try it. That guy. You should quit Game Informer and become the first boomerang hot dog guy. Maybe that's what Sir Dan is doing now. Maybe that's why he's not making games anymore. Why can't I get that? He's probably working the Super Bowl. Is that like, oh man. I know, I would just use my detachable arm to teach people lessons about not teaching <laughs> lessons. <laughs> Let's see. 
Wow, just work with me, camera. Jeez <laughs> Louise. This is Yeah, this is not uh not aging well as far as that goes. I mean, I think Spyro also had a camera like that. I know Crash you didn't have to worry about it. What's um, amazing is back then we like, didn't even really care. Well, Spyro was one of the first games I heard of where they hired a guy just to work on the camera. So there was like no clipping or anything like that. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. I'm going full berserk mode. I'm thinking that maybe they should have done that for uh, Medieval also, if they didn't. I'm thinking maybe they didn't. Thinking maybe they came out around the same time. One person had a great idea, the other did. Yeah. Spyro changed everything. Thanks. Spyro, that's a fun game. Yeah, Spyro is wonderful. I would totally do um, another replay on, I'm sure we've on a done. game in that series. We've done the first one. But we haven't done Ripto's Rage or You're the Dragon. Everything else falls apart after that. What game? I don't know. They got uh, The Hobbit to be the voice of Spyro in the, the later editions. Yep, that's, oh, that's yeah. about, uh, about all they managed. <laughs> they didn't manage to make a fun game. So this game is developed by Sony Cambridge Studio. They did the sequel. We also did Primal on PS2. I don't know if you guys played that. Is that the dinosaur game? Where you had that game? little gargoyle guy with you? Oh, I'm thinking of something else. No, no, I didn't touch that. Ghost Hunter, which we tried playing for a replay and decided to delete because uh, it was pretty awful. Not the game itself, the but game? our commentary was terrible. I bet the game was bad. Medieval Resurrection on PSP. 24 of the game. We got to take a look at that. Huh. Uh, little Big Planet on PSP. Oh, really? TV Superstars, which I think is a move game for PS3. And then their next game that's coming out is Killzone for the Vita. Oh, really? Oh, so they're oh. trucking right along. So this is an early, early title for them. But it's it like... is a big studio. I don't know if it's the same team. You know, it's Sony Cambridge Studios. Yeah. It's kind of like Nintendo where you don't really know True. what team's working on what at any given time. They're, just, they're not forthcoming with that but usually. Killzone, that's going to be one of the biggest properties that's worked on then. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Well, jump and up. Medieval. I mean, well, it's got two sequels. It. Yeah. 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 I guess you're right. I wonder how that PSP one sold. I bet not well. Probably otherwise. not very well yeah. if it's not back. That's right. The Medieval game on PS... On, the, on PlayStation P? Or... Oh, boy. PlayStation P. <laughs> PlayStation we'll P. You could call it that. You got a little paste PlayStation P on your pants. <laughs> I get it in my hands sometimes. Hit select there. Nothing? Oh, we do have it. Yeah, there oh. you go. There's your Thanks, sword. That's Jason that saved us. Now, those guys... I thought you were just throwing that just because you loved it. I think he did love it. Uh, am I, do I what? take damage in water? What is that no. bridge for? I already tried to. So now do I have to go back for it? Is yes. it backtracking? Oh, yep. Failure. That well, sucks. Oh, no. Speaking of failure. There's the reason for the, the bridge. bridge. For, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, back. All right. Life file. All right, so there's Youth a gimme. You gotta go back. Kill those guys. Oh, the sword's way better. Yeah. Oh, than your arm. Jeez, does it have durability? Why would I never have that? Can't imagine a situation. Just use that all the time. Ben, you did you write a strategy guide for this? Uh, use sword. Yeah, it's on Game Facts. I think okay. You can find it. What's up here? Did I go up here? Way back when, I wrote it in crayon on a piece of notebook paper. I don't even know the last time I've seen a crayon in real life. <laughs> uh, in fake life, uh, like digital life, you've seen crayons. Like, where are you seeing crayons? I'm trying well, to figure that out. Whoa, everyone! So I, I hosted a Royal Rumble party, and yeah, that was great. Dan kept all the the stats and all that stuff. Uh, everybody got different uh, different wrestlers. You know how they come out? It's like timed, like wrestler one. We bet on it. I got like number one, 12, and 14. So you didn't know who was coming out. So it was kind of like everybody screaming when the, the timer was counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. See who you got. But Dan was keeping track of all the stats with crayons. Where did he get them? Uh, from my crayons? wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, I assume. So your wife my, wife, my wife looked at him and was like, you know what? Pen? This no. <laughs> Pencil? Probably not. He'll probably hurt himself. Yeah, I don't want to hurt himself. Crayons. No. Like, here's yeah. crayons. He might try to eat them, but... Well, that's, that's why fine. Brian Cranston is one of his favorite actors. <laughs> Cranston. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, so why did that work that time? Uh, I think they just want you to go back to the level. I wonder if more enemies will... It's just a way to link them to the level. Now, Maybe. Ben, you won the Royal Rumble. I did. That was great. But... Seamus. Yeah, you, you got Seamus. What number was he? 22. Seamus is the leprechaun, right? He's really just luck no. of the draw. 
He's the giant white, very like pale white. Oh yeah, the uh, Celtic Irish warrior dude. Yeah. dude. Okay. Red hair. But Ben made a deal with the guy who was left in the ring with him yeah. to split the winnings. Really? So he well, didn't it was win. like one and two, yeah. He could have won like $100, but instead he ended up winning, what, like 60 Well, it was Chris Jericho, and everybody was like, oh, Chris Jericho's obviously going to win. So I was kind of like hedging my bet there. No, that was a good call, Ben. I mean, because you were going to be – there was no other places. It was just first place, won everything, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I still won. Oh, that's great. For a $5 entry fee? Yep. Yeah. That sounds like fun. That was great. You should come next year. I like money. Yeah, you were sick this year, weren't you? I was you? so sick. I had a Royal Rumble in my stomach. Enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new wing. Oh. Oh, boy. That's Another arm, it. maybe? A giant chicken wing? You just get bigger, progressively larger arms. Maybe so what do you think of it so far, Tim? It's, uh, it's pretty rough. Um, it's playable. Like, it just seems like everything's just kind of inaccurate and sloppy. You know, the the environments Historically, are, are sloppy. Yeah, the hi historical accuracy is Whoa. just non-existent. Like, just like those stairs. <laughs> is this hub? Oh, you can't go through. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if this hub is kind of like uh, Mario, or like certain elements of it, or certain parts of it Ooh, open up later. If memory serves correctly, I think it is. Like okay. you'll unlock that stuff later. So, that guy. That's the chalice. It looks like. I got one of those. I'd like to see an update to this game. Yeah. It's me, Kenny Tim. How do they? Does oh, Tim. Well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're mostly doing HD collections from PS2 games, correct? Yeah, I'm not yeah. really going back to PS1. Imagine it's a larger ordeal. So, you know, PS1 games don't look as good. I don't know if you guys noticed. Crossbow. Nice. There you go. Not bad. Okay. You have 149, so. That'll last you a while. So is this where I put... Oh, get that. I put the chalice here, I guess, probably. I'm going to collect things probably from all these different worlds. Yep. And... All those statues will activate. I always liked that. Can uh, you read that? No? <laughs> you always liked hub worlds? Yeah. Yeah, and just like things that... Uh, it just kind of prog progressively evolves. Um, not sure where to go. So I'm going to go back where I came from. And see if uh, that is like a portal to the next level, maybe. Uh, yes, I want to leave the Hall of Heroes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have a feeling that that's just a place I'll be returning to, yeah. So 1998. I think I was playing a lot of Metal Gear back then. Ooh, and a good year for that. Ocarina of Time. Some Goldeneye? Yeah, still playing Goldeneye. Okay, so that's just... Save that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, well, I guess we won't then, game. Thanks. Which sparkly are you going to go to? We're going to go to the cemetery, cemetery. hill. I wasn't just Where at a cemetery. We? Yeah, what was that? Was it pre cemetery? <laughs> pre cemetery. Are you hill? going back to the same spot? Cemetery flatlands? I don't think so. We started at the very south uh, end of the map. Oh, south cemetery. Yeah. I don't know how you could possibly get that screwed up, Reiner. This one, this cemetery has lava in That's it. That's clearly a hill right there. And then Satan Woman. What is that? From the shackles of Princess Leia. Satan. <laughs> Whoa. These animations are a little, uh, a little rickety. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who did the motion capture. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just a giant boulder appears out of that dude's mouth. Weird. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, fast zombies. Oh. Yeah, no, the, the zombies are actually really inconsistent. Um, they just kind of turn into they say Olympic they like athletes. They say one day, yeah. Like... Sh 400 meter dash sprinters out of nowhere. They're like Dawn of the Dead zombies. Or like Walking Dead zombies. Have you seen that show? Yeah. One episode they're like walking, the next episode they're running. I like to, there's no consistency there. Well, the that name one, implies that they should be just they walking. should just be walking. Joaquin. The dead should be the only things walking there. Joaquin Phoenix should be in, in, episode in every episode, yes. He should be Joaquin Dead. What happened to that guy? He's still around. He did that fake I Want Crazy yeah. documentary and... Then he just disappeared, right? Is he doing it again? The sequel? <laughs> I went insane. Is this dumb? Dumb idea? Go, go, go. Nope. Uh, go. Dude, some of these oh, jump... Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, Can boy. you jump over that? Oh, I see. Looks oh, like this good. has been a problem in this world for a, 
for a long, long time. They had to. Uh, oh boy. I wonder how many people were sacrificed digging out these holes Oops. so they could get up here. Whoa. Wouldn't you run out of boulders eventually? Wouldn't Whoa. you run out of a mountain? Nice chunk. Like, where are the boulders coming from? They gotta be chunks of the mountain, right? They're, they're just being spit out of those gargoyles. Eventually, you're gonna have a giant pit. Dark Souls has a sequence like this where boulders keep flying at you, and then you learn that there's a giant, and his whole lot in life is to just throw these boulders at you. I kind of like that. That's cool. But that's a serious game, too, right? Wait, can you, like, block these? Yep. Oh. Let's try it. Oh, I like that. Oh, there you go. What about the red ones? You don't gain any ground, though. You can just dodge them up. You can just hug the... Oh, what's the side. point, then? Ugh, games. Games and games. There you go. All Get right, that you guy. jerks. Spit rocks at each other. We have failed. So they, they just killed themselves? Whoa. Sacrifice? Wow. It's deep. I'm glad we don't have to do that every time we, like, fail to write a article. It's like a Bond villain when he gets caught. He has, like, the little fake tooth he bites down on. <laughs> Cyanide capsule. Is that what happened to the guy in that, Dark Souls? That's what happened to t uh, I think Dan, so, yeah. actually. Oh, that's he, why Dan's gone. Yeah, he accidentally. He's supposed to work news this weekend. He was he biting failed. down on a Waluigi sandwich and accidentally activated a cyanide capsule. <laughs> well, that was that was hill-like. Yeah, it was hilly. Oh, oh is no. this going to be a boss <laughs> fight? Maybe. Yeah, this. Will, if it's a boss fight, this will be a good one to uh, end on here. Now you always say that, Reiner, and then something terrible happens. I know, and then we got to keep going. Oh God. What are these imps? What are those? They look like monkeys. Torch monkeys. Little gremlins? Yeah, torch monkeys. Hey, guys. Don't hurt me with Get fire. Get that guy. They know. They understand that uh, the weakness of most undead creatures is fire. What if they just want to light the way for you? Is that what happens when people die? They turn into those? Gremlins? Or to, like Dan here. Also, seriously, where are they getting the torch? Oh, whoa, whoa, that whoa. That is nice. a big chicken wing. Hulk smash. I like this. It's uh, oh, it's got durability. Interesting. I like how the whole world shakes. When you yeah, do that. yeah, hit that. I'll go in there. Is that? Oh wow, I Ooh. like that. This is fun. I just want to play Andrew Kazooie now. <laughs> that happens. Whoa! Yeah, squish, squish. This is great. You this is like idiots. God of War. Oh, the uh, the big gauntlets you get. Yeah. Oh, this looks fun. I kind of like breaking things. <laughs> Are those stained glass spikes? Which way? So many choices. I know. I like this level. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Whoa, that's <laughs> deadly. <laughs> I hate this level. Best shards. Okay. Oh, there we go. The old moon roan. Good old exploration. Moon roan. Not really sure what that means. Moon and roan. You're saying two words. Yeah, but are they words? Moon's a word. Moon is definitely a word. Roan. Not sure. Ronin. I think you're gonna need another Ron over here. Oh boy, I'm running out of uh, club here. I need some health. Thirty percent. I can do it. You guys, you guys know that. Club is great. <laughs> what is that move? Is that a taunt? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's a big thing of meat. You know what I liked back in the day was beat 'em ups, like uh, you know, Streets of Rage. Oh, with the Double meat dragon, on the ground, stuff like that. Oh, I just thought of that, like, because the weapons degrade. I, I did that said, yeah. ups, too. I thought you said meat clops. Meat clops. I do like to wear meat clops in the morning. Is that like a cyclops that just has, like, a steak medallion in its <laughs> eye? Oh, That'd no. That'd be sweet. A meat clops. Um, one eye. That was pretty cool, the way the, the ground. Oh, God. It's still falling. I think run! you need to run. Is it this one? No, the other one. They they both had runes. Yeah. Yeah, but you got a green one. Moon rune. Oh. Moon run. What it, runny. What, what was I calling it? It's runny. When has the moon ever been runny? Oh. Well, it's made of cheese, so I guess it can melt. I guess. You can make a giant omelet. Moon omelet. That sounds delicious. All right. Let's get, uh, let's get the sword going. I don't know. The sword... Pretty, oh, pretty almost good. as good. <laughs> and it's not degrading either, which is nice. Yeah, it's the... It's the old trusty, just like the pistol and... Oh, wow, he stole Whoa. it. What a jerk. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. That's interesting. My mind is blown. It's really subtle when you blow your mind. 
Ben, because it just seems like normal Ben. Oh wow, this is what? A, this is a key card situation. Is that an entrance or is yeah? That we thought this was going to be a boss level, but it turns out it's just a full level. This full full level. A, it could be a boss at the end. I'm assuming we're gonna we fight that horned beast at the end of it. Uh, nice. I like that kind of regeneration. That's very satisfying. Do you think it ever runs dry? I hate that when that happens when in games. Like you're like, oh, please God give me some, and it just gives you like ten percent. Oh, like what? What game did that recently? I don't know, but I liked God it in God of War, War actually. Well, God of War would fill you up all the way though. No, the chests. Well, I, I mean, you could, so. there were only one use, but wouldn't they fill you up all the way? No. No, I thought they did. I mean, once you got your health, oh, you can't get back up there. You got once you got your health upgraded enough. Um, there really was no. You no got a rune in here, so you can go back, right? I can't go back actually. A rune -y. It's uh, I just tried <gasps> Whoa, going. I like that guy. Now I have two runes. Where's your vacuum cleaner? You should get that guy. There yeah. was another. Ha! Huh, that made me just remind <laughs> me. I need to play. Uh, oh, that game was good. Some Luigi's Mansion. That game was fun. I want to play the sequel. I can go through. It's coming here, out soon, right? Yeah, the sequel is coming up. I need to oh, there you beat, go. beat the original before that happens. You haven't beat it? No, I've, I've never played the original all the way through. Oh, you gotta play it. I liked what we played in the... Um, it's fun. In you should beat it. That it's did. a video game, and it's fun. Oh, wait a second. Eh, whatever. What? <laughs> What's that Why are you sound? doing that? Because I can push this. But can you pull it? Let's see what I gotta do with this. I don't think you can pull, but... Probably can, just trying to get it out of the way. I can get on the other side of it. Nice. That's totally going to open something for you. What is this? Burn diggers? Oh, ooh, ooh. that's not very accurate. The, the movement isn't. Burn that heart. Oh, burn it. Make oh. it black. Disturbing. I like this. Like Whose heart is that? Are you in the body of a giant? I don't know. I'm starting to like this game. What are those little croc cockroach things? What are those? Crockpots. Crockpot roaches. Yeah. That the worst kind of cockroach. Those guys are bizarre. There's Looks something like over Pixar there. Pixar enemies. You? That, yeah, I thought I, see, I saw something. You don't have your club anymore, do you? Oh, no, I don't. You, you do. just jump over? Right? No, it uh, it degraded. What? I'm going to switch back to this. Should I go for it? Yeah, jump you over it. You have I bet to. you can do it. Oh, that nice. Like a dumb shield. Eh, I bet, I bet it'll come in handy. It's like a ladybug shield. Looks nice. So, wait, what is that that happened there? All the other skeletons are going to be uh, all over you. I'll be the envy. The envy. Oh, yeah, your little colored friends are in here now. Okay, so maybe it has something to do with that piano playing, dude. Oh, no, this. Little knobbies. They are knobbies. Listen! Maybe I can kill them right all. Right into the crotch. Possess that crotch. Oh, not. Oh, oh, this is cool. You ever see young Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. It's like the first CG I think I've ever seen. Totally ripped off of this. Hey, we were right about I the boss. I think that was right? the first CG ever, wasn't it? Yeah, it might have been actually. I think that was it's in thing. a movie. Yeah. That a boy. All right, I'm uh, switching to the crossbow. What is this? Eat it. What? Didn't you already have that? Shoot him. Wow. Good AI. This guy's terrifying. Shoot him. Uh, Block that? Uh oh. Oh, crap. Do you have any health items? You no. Need so it looks like can, you can I only hit him when the this. heart's out. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. You can jump that. Do it again. All right. I got this guy. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Can you dodge that thing? Oof. Yeah, the copper shield is uh, very important. I think I got this guy. Throw throw some things at me. Throw some shards. If he's throwing pieces of his body at you, couldn't you just slowly deplete him that way? Did you play the Ghostbusters game? Reminds me of those, yeah. those guys. A couple more times. Oh, oh no. no! Destroyed your shield? No! Yeah, that's not That's good. not fair. Do I have more? Don't you have another one? You have throwing no. knives. I'm about to run out. I think those are down. Powerful. Moon run. Arm. Oh, arm. Oh wait, hold on. It popped a, another one up. That's nice of him. Gives you a sporting chance. Yeah. <laughs> sporting indeed. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, brother. Yeah. Oh, I think the crossbow is better. Uh oh, block that. 
No! The crossbow is way better, but I only have 11 shots, and so it probably would. I'd probably get like a couple in, and then it would run out, and then I would uh, just like real life. Yeah, this is gonna be close. Go go go! Oh no! Faster! Nice block. It's close. 112 on. hit points left. It's all, all the money rides on this, on my personal self worth. Okay. I think you start running away. I'm not gonna get greedy. Get out of there! That's how you get hurt. Ah! Yeah, crap! Yes. Okay. Okay. Good jump. Okay. I think one more good go at him. You can do this. Come on, come on. You got it. You go, go for it. Yeah! Yes. yes. Uh, Throw those uh, knives uh. in his heart. Stage two. Shatter, you bastard. Screech. Yes. Oh. The it's shark like hits you in the eye and just kills you. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Excellent. Well, I think dun, that's going to conclude dun, dun, dun. our look at medieval oh. spelled wrong with uh, evil at the end. Yeah. I think well, it was a pretty successful little run. Yeah. You guys always called it medieval, right? Not medieval. Medieval, yeah. I always called it medieval. But uh, let's move on to our next game here. All right. All right, we're back with another roulette. And Tim, I picked this one out just for you. Aw, thanks, Reiner. I, I thought you'd like it a lot. I don't. I guess we'll find out uh, how much you actually care about me after I start uh, <laughs> playing you. The oh. base is loaded on NES. How well do you know me? Oh, grainy. Fuzz. You love fuzz. It's eight millimeter style. Do you like it so far? I don't know what those Spilled things are. Old ink? Those people? Oh, oh God. You Clowns. love clown clocks. Clown clock. You're a clown clock fanatic. I'm a bit of a clown clock collector. Blood moon. Okay. Oof. Ooh. Oh, silhouettes. Oh, oh. You know how I like silhouettes. I, like, I know that word. The epitome. Oh, oh God. Oh, gosh. My girlfriend was supposed to come to my house this morning, but she's not shown up yet. That is terrifying. What do you get when you post pictures of the clown clock on Facebook? She's always punctual. She'd not even called me. Something happened to her. Maybe she. Will and Tonkin House present 1999. Juggernaut. So this guy wants to talk to his girlfriend. <laughs> is that the premise? That's, that's the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> you just he's just clingy. He's just so needy. <laughs> yeah, the game ends like, so what'd you do today? <laughs> Sorry, hon, oh, I was cool. running errands. Don't drop that. Don't drop it. It's she, old. At the store? Where is she? She's happy. Oh, man. When did this game come out? 1999. Oh, yeah, I said it with my mouth. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is this reminds a, me of kind of like a D meets Silent Hill type thing. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I thought when I picked it up. Those are the two things that came into really? my mind. Yep. Whoa. No, ben, to answer your question, I don't think we've done D yet. Then a strange man called me. He said I should come to my girlfriend's house immediately. Oh, I should come to it? Wouldn't you go over there to begin with? He was polite, but firm. Whoa. Well, <laughs> I heard it my love, not knowing something so shockingly dreadful was about to happen. Tim, I think you're polite and firm. Thank you. Welcome to the oh, firm of polite, polite. It's all that rock polite. climbing you've been doing. Thanks. The forearms are polite but firm. You're about to enter a world of survival horror. Now loading. Good luck. Good blip. It's rain and blood. Blip. Blip. Hmm. Somebody Blip. left the blood sink on. Blip. Blip. Oh, God. Gross. Wow, I didn't expect that. That was terrifying. Yeah. Let's just get right Jump in there. Jump right into it. Yeah. What is that? What is that thing? Little doodly. It's like a weird yeah, eye. Be. Yes. Jeez. Wait, wait, what were you saying yes to? To uh, continue without saving. Oh, okay. Just took some time to load it. Oh, wait boy. Wait a second. What kind of game is this? It's just like your oh, favorite game, oh. Frankenstein. So this is your girlfriend's house. Missed. I think I like where this is going. <laughs> in the house? You like to be inside? You can't move it anywhere. It's oh, just forward, right? 
Can this? Oh, it's. Oh, I can use analog stick. Great. Yeah. Nope. I know it. Just kidding. I'm going in. I hit X a while ago. And you can't go oh, in. It's D pad. Well, she left the lights on. She's got a nice house. <laughs> now, Look at that wallpaper. It's, it's that's nice something. Nice splotches. Start left and go. She's an interior designer. Well, you can go forward. Yeah, I can't turn right or left, which is just perplexing. I wonder if he'll give you arrows when that option's available. There were doors oh over there, though. Unused doors. I know. Bah! Whoa! This doesn't seem right at all. Turn to the right and leave. Who are those guys? Um. Hey, dude, what's uh, up? <laughs> what are you doing here? Is that monocle vision? What is this? Girlfriend is... Sarah's sitting at the end of the room. Well, that's some slow text. Sure is. The room is filled with a terribly sickening smell. I have to read super slow for this. Okay. Look at that thing. It's the doll Sarah loves. <laughs> Doesn't have a name for it, but she loves it. I have been waiting for you. <laughs> Question mark? Maybe. Exclamation mark? Question. Tell me what's going on. What emotion Wait. are these? What emotion are these? She tied up. God, Sarah, what's happened to you? What? What? Is this her bedroom, by the way? This is like the first room in the house. It looks like Sarah's soul has been taken away by an evil force. <laughs> an evil force? Wait. Who is saying who that? Is the same who? Dude. She, <laughs> she was possessed by an evil force in this bottle. <laughs> what? Sealed in the bottle. Sealed in the bottle. There's the bottle. Close up. That's what I bought her at an <laughs> antique shop. Horrible boyfriend. So? You want this empty bottle? <laughs> it totally looks like this guy is talking about By the way, himself. if you open it, it's going to take your soul. Is that so? A sorcerer had confined an evil force inside the bottle. A bottle like that was sold at my shot. Okay, I can speed up. Oh, you can speed up. Good. How's Sarah? Is she all right? Tell me about her condition, please. Calm down and listen to me. <laughs> By the way, who is this person? It fades in and out. Uh, oh. To tell you who's talking. Venom. But who's this dude? Like, it's just a dude you met We don't online? know yet. I'm a priest. Oh, okay. Here you go, Ben. You go. I'm trying to jump ahead of the story. This morning she called me and said a poltergeist phenomenon was happening. Phenomenon. Some kind of poltergeist phenomenon is happening. Uh oh. <laughs> Verbatim. Uh, excuse me, is this uh, Father Walter? Uh, yes, uh, the poltergeist phenomenon is happening. You can meet my place at uh, 813 Wilshire. Thank you. Oh, yes, God. The, it's the place with the clown clock. Yeah. Well, you were polite, uh, Hello? Term, so I will Are you come. still there? <laughs> Excuse me. No, the con clock is blue. When I got here, she had been partially possessed by an evil force. In her fading consciousness, she could only tell me about you. Help me! Help, help me! I was gonna oh, play Sarah. Go. Is that your name? Sarah, wait. Sarah, no, that's the priest. Sarah, are you awake? Is she talking to herself? Stay away from her. Oh god. Whoa. Does she have lightning powers? That's it. Whoa. Whoa! Teen Wolf. <laughs> what is this? Oh gosh. Uh, Wait. What what's happened? going on? Lord, please give your power to me. Give us your strength to crush the evil. Release your mighty arrow to penetrate the evil. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bleh, milk. <laughs> She's a synthetic. What? Only he who loves her is loved by her. Who, only he who loves her and is loved by her can expel the evil force from her soul, penetrate. Well, but how am I supposed to do that? I was about to break up with her. You must <laughs> enter her soul and fight with the evil force. The evil force will employ any all means. The battle will be difficult and may seem to last forever. But remember that God will never forsake you. Don't succumb to the evil force. Withstand the battle, because that's when the strength of your soul is being tried. I understand. I'll go and take Sarah back. <laughs> Before her soul was completely possessed, I don't know what voice it is usually, <laughs> yeah. she offered 
I think it's that necklace talking now. clenched fist and gave this to me. It will be of help to you. With the jingle? Yeah. The jingle, jingle. jingle. Kind, of, kind of creepy. I received the pendant. Remember, it's going to be very dangerous. If you lose, you and Sarah will both become the devil's slaves. But God doesn't want this to happen. Remember that God will always be with you, and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you, Father. Oh, that's his dad. You'd better hurry. No. <laughs> yes, Father. Yeah, it's his dad. That's why he never asked who he was. I swear uh, I was just confused. Wait a minute. With an arrow. Are you sure this is a good idea? That is a knife-shaped arrow. Oh. Okay. Take that, Bible. Wait, why would the demon hate it if you stabbed the Bible? I know. Wouldn't he love that? Yeah, he'd be like, yeah. Get it. Played right into my hands. <laughs> Possessed by a fog. Wait, what? Magic school bus. You're inside her body? Literally? Oh, this is totally like Resident <laughs> Evil. The, you're about to enter a world of survival horror. Yeah. I, Am I about to enter reality, or is it all merely a dream? But I can be certain that in Sarah's agonizing eyes, I saw her pleading for my help. Though I was app apprehensive in my fading consciousness, I was determined to retrieve my beloved Sarah. I didn't really see it in her eyes. I just saw her puking up milk. Yeah. That was kind of disturbing. I don't think that you could see her eyes through the Maybe milk. Maybe she's lactose intolerant. Maybe that's the problem. When I woke up, I found myself lying on a strange beach. Oh, going to the water. What is that? What is that water? The sun in front of me looks as if it were a bag filled with blood. <laughs> sort bag of blood, blood bag. <laughs> that paints it's a gory star that paints the world in bloody red. Jeez. Heavy handed. <laughs> okay. All right, how do we get back? Look there at that go. star. Take oh, a there. left. Is this uh, some sort of dock? Ooh, some... Yeah, go out there. What is this, a dock? Do some blood fishing. Blood fishing under a blood bag moon. Keep going. Blood bag of sand. So that's that. Yeah, nice dock. Well, Exciting. it's pretty cool. Go left. I am. Take a look over here. Really? <laughs> Keep turning. Whoa, it looks so much different. What? What's with the partial turn? I don't know. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, no kidding. Take a walk. Okay. You go in the forest? <laughs> I guess so. We're, we're going to be so lost. Whoa. Uh, Is this a battle? Hey, bud. Place in the ground are two items. One tells the direction, the other tells the time. Okay. What? Can you look at the ground? Oh, the... Is that the compass? Oh, Is there something cool. inside of it that tells time? I don't... Not that I can I tell. can't really see. I can't even see a direction. Why didn't you go in there? I'm going to take a walk around this. See if I'm missing anything. Mm. Oh, is this a different place that looks exactly the same? I think you should go in there. You want me to go inside this thing? Yeah. All right. I like being thorough, but if you say so. Can you go in there? No, no. Turn oh, around. Frustrating. He just doesn't want to be here. Man, there's a only there's a specific time in gaming when people would put up with this. Yeah, go in there. Oh God. Well, Mist is coming back, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, for 3DS, right? Oh, Very that's right. Misty. Yeah. I'm getting misty eyed. You will be in 3D because your eyes will be sore. The bridge from Eco. What's oh, that? What is that? Oh, it's that guy that was talking. Queen Amadala. Looks don't, like a monk. Whatever you do, don't kill us. Oh, he's got a hat. Well, you can move forward. It looked like. What's up, dude? That you is creepy. Look on just your chest. There. Oh no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Ah, uh, boy. Uh, <laughs> that which destroys souls. Is he asking us what we want for lunch? <laughs> Of all the text to skip, Tim. It will appear when a red blood-filled bag <laughs> becomes one with the sea. Oh, what could that How possibly did he know mean? That? What? It's the moon. When it becomes one with a, the blood-filled bag. What do you want? I told you. <laughs> what more could you want? What, is there something you're searching for? Yeah, blood-filled bag. Then there is no need to be here. Sure. All right, there's another, there another option here. So this 
We already, yeah. And then when will it appear? Yeah. Oh wait, no wait. He said That's that. what you selected already. Okay, so that this one, and then the first one. Mansion of Truth. Okay. All truths are hidden in the Mansion of Truth. However, the Mansion of Truth hasn't appeared yet. Okay. And that's the truth. Oh. Please take let's, me to the let's mansion. Go there. Uh, I'm not allowed to leave here. <laughs> uh, you go find it yourself. All okay. Right. Well, well, thanks, bud. Sure. Thanks for the info, I guess. So I need to Can get. Can you go forward? I have to probably exhaust all search options oh, here. Oh, God. I feel as I'm bound by his charms. Real charming. All right, so I wanted him to take me there before. When will it appear? Tomorrow, oh, yesterday, whoa. and now. <laughs> well, this guy, I feel he's polite, but he's being very firm. <laughs> What's happening? Is that a toilet? This guy's made out of wax. He's just not moving. Whoa! whoa. Out of the ears, even. Gross. Oh. I got some overboard action. What? What a blood bag. You asked too many questions. <laughs> oh, it's a what take my it? canary. Is that a yeah, bird he's cage? a bird cage. Oh, well, that was fine. Key to the Mansion of Truth. Oh. Oh. It's time for a plot twist. Oh, 60 minutes. It's all clever. Six o'clock. Clever right. ruse. Ah. <sighs> Well, this, this is cryptic. Despite all his rage, he was still just a clock in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like uh, smashing pumpkin jokes. <laughs> despite all my rats, I'm still just a clock in a cage. Okay. I'm No, I'm not done. Back up the stairs, you dolt. Where would you find a mansion of truth? Probably upstairs. Yeah, on top of the tower, tower. of stairs. Yeah, that makes sense. Locked. If it's locked, let's just rage quit. We'll just end the replay <laughs> right the there. Controller. It'll be like another 20 minutes of silence at one screen. It's a nice wall. Like we yeah, it. nice brickwork. Okay. No cracks. Uh, easel. Vin? There is no painting <laughs> on this easel. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was a painting of the wall behind it. Now, uh, is there something to the right here? Maybe a painting? Oh, another easel. So this place needs two paintings, huh? Okay. Or is it one? Subtle. Or is it one? When the blood bag meets the crimson sea, only then will the truth of Den lie here in waiting. Clock rage. Calvin clock rage. I think this game needs some music. No. <laughs> All atmosphere. No, we got it. <laughs> so This is just like... Uh, is this the path you went down before? Yeah, that's where we came from. We didn't walk off to the left of the, uh, the tower of the stairs yet. I kind of like this. I, I don't mind it. There's it's all about an exorcism, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not tied to Dracula, I think, which makes it... Is that a painting? You found it. Grab that thing. A painting is on the ground. Take it, dude. That jingle is so out of place. <laughs> it's not I right. I love it. Obtained painting. Can you look at the painting or anything? Can you look at your no. inventory? You uh, go forward more, though. No, mm. that was... Every time I press forward, it would just bring up that cursor. So, one painting down. I wonder... Wait a minute. I think there might only be one painting. Have we been here before? Are you sure? There was two easels in that room. Yeah, I think there Are were you two. sure, or was it just when you were rotating? I think there were two. Well, because one was on, was on either side of the door. There's another painting. <sighs> You're right. Ryan. I'm wrong. It's okay. What is this? Oh, it's a record. A record. Records don't go on easels. It's a good text message noise. Is it a Pink Floyd album? The one with the flashing light? Mm-hmm. Wait, there's a Pink Floyd album that... Pink Floyd. Not Pink Floyd. That'd be dumb. Um, That's why it's weird and creepy. Pink Floyd? The name of the Pink Panther. His name is Floyd. You yeah, they released that. an album with, that came with a flashing light on it. So record stores had like dozens of these flashing red lights. And it was supposed to burn, you know, 
blink forever or something like that. I don't know if they're still going. Battery. Did it burn out super quick, though? I never got one. I don't know. Oh. Sounds like it's time for you to... That sounds like more torture than listening to the Pink Floyd album. Pink Floyd. They're not bad. Pink Floyd. Pink I don't Floyd. listen to them, but I don't think they're they're a bad band. Pink Floyd. The more I say Pink Floyd, it seems like it should not be the name of that band. No. It's a weird name. Isn't it weird? It's weird. It's a weird name. I'm happy we were able to... See, I think there's only one in here. All right. Well, here. Well, here go you to go. the right. Right. All right. The Back door to the is left. still to our right. Doors behind us, back to the left. Yeah, I think so. It all looks the put, same. Put, it, put the painting on it. Select. I just hit select. Whoa. Whoa. That's a screen. There's some options it here. sucks. Start button. Maybe it goes on the other. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. You got some blood balls. Use that. Has a path. Oh. oh, I'm gonna put it there, and then it's gonna it, be like Alice in Wonderland or something, right? That'll be cool. Or Mario jump into it. Mm -hmm. So I put it on that can, side. You can go forward though. No, it just brings up the cursor. So oh, now yeah. what I do is I leave, and now that part of the the woods is gonna be open up for sure. You think so? Yes. But how do you know which direction that was? Um, I won't. I just I'll know which way to go. It won't be directly out the door, and then both and. To the left and the right of the door were dead ends originally, so now one of them won't be a dead end. Mm. Do we got to wrap this up pretty soon, Jason? Really? We got to find out if this is right, though. Yeah, we got to go. Do you think it was to the I wanna say, right? I want to say my instinct says it's to the right, so I'm going to go left <laughs> because there's a lot of stairs and we walked in circles. Let's check it. Man, he's really quick when he goes down these. Yeah. He's a good short distance sprinter. Okay, I should have followed my heart. My mom was right. Because there's mm. a, a couple trees. <laughs> Too bad I can't squeeze through those trees. Yeah, surely there wasn't so many trees in this forest. It's pretty dense. There's not even. I a wouldn't path. go through there. I'm with this guy. How bizarre would that be if you're walking through a forest though, and it's just like trees got so dense that you're just like, oh, I can't go this way. That would be bizarre. <gasps> Wait a second. Actually, there's a painting in there. 33. Write it down, Ben. 30. It's written on my part now. Oh. Got a record, dude. Oh, this is cool. Hold on, let's make sure there's no enemies in here. <laughs> no enemies? What are the combat's Pull out the be knife. Like? The red door. Like David Lynch. Oh, oh there's two doors. Matrix. Do you know which door you're in? Waka waka. Let's listen to something here. This is going to open the red door because it had red on the label. Look at all those lights. Give me a creepy song. Starts playing Smash Mouth. You're listening <laughs> to Groanin' and Moanin' on Blood Bag Records. I get it. It's creepy, Juggernaut. Maybe there's a get it. secret message if you play it in slow-mo. Oh, wrong one. Even slower groaning. It's a record Dan would probably record. But there'd be a lot of farts in there, too. It'd be farting. And then groaning. First. First bar? Of the oh. music? What? Well, oh. Uh-oh. One of these. Well, Should we're we end it there? Oh, my God. Lost oh in red God. doors. Go through the second door first. This one right here? Yeah, yeah let's just see. He'll give you the second bar, I bet. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. It's going to be some sort of color-coded thing. Were we supposed to listen to the thing? And it had I like heard gargle, and burp, bar. burp. Second bar. So this seems like it's the right door to go through. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, who was that? Laughter because I screwed it up. You think so? Yep. Well, well, guys. Well, that's going to conclude our look at Juggernaut. I should point out, came out on PlayStation and uh, came with three discs. So this is going to be Holy a sizable game. Wow. Jeez. Did not score well. Game Informer gave it a 6.5. I'm not sure who reviewed it. It was one of those at a glances that didn't have a name on it back in the day. Gotcha. But it wasn't me. I've never seen it. Um, but I'm intrigued. I like the beginning. I thought that was kind of cool at the exorcism. But uh, 
I don't know, Tim. Do you think you're going to keep going with this or no? I think I would rather play like D or um, maybe like First bar. Mist, Fatal even. Frame or something. Just something, something different. Good. Yeah. Anything beyond this. All right, guys. Be better. Well, thanks for joining me again, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday.